Hey guys, welcome to Tech It Today. something very interesting it's part of the wearables division and it's the Samsung Galaxy watch so let's just go ahead and unbox this watch So in here in this part we have the manual I believe so yeah it's the manual the quick start guide you know what to do the warranty card so that's the warranty card and this is the manual the what what uh, you need to do different languages so you get to see that so and that's what you get inside there so here let's just remove this so you have the watch itself it's a uh, 40 millimeter version is uh, well the Galaxy Watch Active comes in two sizes that's the 40 millimeter and the 42 millimeter uh, you get an extra strap you know if uh, you have a longer hand or a bigger hand and inside here you also get well the wireless charger it comes with a key chu chi chi kuai chi comes with chi wireless charging so that's what you get uh, in inside of the box you get uh, your phone, an extra strap, uh, you get uh, the, the quick start guide, you get a warranty card and you get the charger. So that's what you get. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. It's not the Samsung Galaxy Watch, it's the Samsung Galaxy Watch. This is the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. It was released in February alongside the S10 series. It's a 1.1 inch Super AMOLED uh, display, uh, parts a resolution of 360 by 360 pixels, so it gives you very good display. I mean, it's an AMOLED, it's an LED display. Not only that, it comes with a Tizen based wearable OS 4.0, which is well, it has already been upgraded to 4.0 something something, but it's upgradable, it upgrades the, the software over some time. Not only that, uh, but the watch also comes with an Exynos 9110 processor, it's a dual core processor, so you're sure it's going to handle the watch task very well, I mean dual core, it's a watch, but that's what, that's the processor you get on the watch, not only that, it comes with 4GB internal, 4GB of internal RAM on the watch, so you can load in your songs, you can load in pictures, you can uh, install apps, I mean it's 4GB RAM on a watch, that's what you get. Not only that, the RAM is a 768MB, that's the RAM uh, that the watch has. And to couple all that up, it's powered by a 230mAh battery. And that battery will give you about two days of, of, on full charge. Uh, that's using, if you're using all the features, that's the heart rate, that's uh, maybe all the sensors that are in here. Heart rate, sleep tracking, uh, when, when you're gonna get to those trackers that are inside here. But it'll give you two days if you're using those five days if you put it on power save it and about a month if you just turn on the watch only interface so that's the battery life and you get to charge it via this chi wireless charger so it powers uh, the 230 milliampere battery in, in about 45 minutes it gets you from zero to 100 uh, this chi wireless charger it's wireless so you just put it on and if you have a wireless power bank you have anything that charges wirelessly you can put it you can put the watch on top of that and it will charge via chi charging and that's interesting for you to know not only that but the watch also is powered by bluetooth uh, and it comes in uh, three color options that's the black uh, or the rose gold or the silver what we call cloud silver so the, those are the options or those are the specs of the samsung galaxy watch it also has a loudspeaker for you to answer your calls so you can pick your calls through the watch uh, and you'll be okay so those are the specs of the samsung galaxy watch active so let's get to just put this on i'm gonna have to discard this uh, analog watch that i was using so it's time for me to start up with the samsung galaxy watch active It's a nice fit, I like it. So that's the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. Let's power it on and we can get to set it up for the first time. So let's just power on the device. Uh, this is the power button. 
it's very interesting for you to note that when you get the watch for the first time, it does not have battery, so you'd have to at least to charge it, uh, charge it up a bit. Once you charge it, you cannot begin the powering on process. Uh, but that's it, it's the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. It comes in two sizes, the 40mm and the 42mm, which is slightly bigger. But the one we're testing out here in the studio is the 40mm version. So let's just wait for it to power on, then uh, we can pair it uh, to the phone. So we are ready now. Uh, it's ready to pair, so let's just come to the phone. So be because we're using iOS, uh, you have to download an app. It's uh, the Samsung Galaxy Wearable app. Uh, if you're also using a phone that's uh, different from Samsung, you, you go to the Play Store and download uh, the Galaxy Wearable app from Play Store so that you can be able to power the watch. So I've already had liberty of downloading the app for iOS. So let's just uh, go in. So we're ready, so let's let's start the journey. So as you can see, Samsung has different ranges of watches. They have the Gear S2, the Gear S3, the Gear Sport, the Galaxy Watch, the Galaxy Watch Active, and the Galaxy Watch Active 2. Here we have the Galaxy Watch Active, which uh, we're gonna be pairing with uh, our phone. So it asks whether we want to confirm. So let's just set it up. So it's ready to pair, uh, it asked me to connect. It says check your phone to complete setup. So let's just check the phone uh, as it pairs with the watch. So notice uh, this uh, action of pairing would be way easier with a Samsung phone because it's a Samsung watch. But that does not mean that you cannot use this uh, watch if you have another type of uh, Android uh, phone or another type of uh, phone like the iOS. It still would work well so let it pair so for this process to continue you need to be connected to the internet so also make sure that you're connected to internet i'm connected on wi-fi here uh, so the watch is paired congratulations on your new galaxy watch thank you i feel congratulated so you have to click all your permissions uh, for easier syncability and workability you have to connect your watch with your samsung account uh, because of the Samsung Galaxy Store, if you want to buy different watch phases, if you want to back up your phone or restore it, it's easier if you connect it to your Samsung account. So I'm going to do that uh, pretty fast here. Looking for whether I have any backups. So clearly you don't have any backups because the first time they're doing this. So we are all set. So as you can see, the watch has uh, picked up. It asks me to you know swipe right for notifications, swipe up to clear notification. Uh, so I'm clearing the no notification, no notifications. So that's uh, the whole page. This is the default watch face for the watch. Uh, as you can see, so you can basically go through the how to use uh, if you'd want that. But so this is how your watch would look. So let's uh, see some of the things uh, that uh, we can get. So if I want to change the watch face, as you can realize, this is the watch face. This is the default watch face that it has. If I want to change that watch face, I just go to discover. And because it's paired to my Samsung account, so it gets access to the Galaxy uh, store, I can be able to look for different watch faces. So we're into the menu. These are some of the watch faces that you can download. So if I download that, for example, it's asking me to connect to the Wi-Fi network for faster download. So I have connected. So it's scanning for Wi-Fi. It's gonna automatically connect to the Wi-Fi that my phone is connected to. But once that's done, I can just simply download this. So after I download this watch face or any other that I'd, I'd want, you know, you can pick a watch face that fits your personality, uh, you, you know, what, what looks like you. If you're a lady, you can look for more ladylike. If you're a man, you can look for more man-like uh, watch faces. Once the watch downloads, it's as easy as you click install, uh, or rather you click it and it automatically syncs. So this is still the default watch face that we have. Uh, as you can see, that in the default watch face, it tells me the time, it tells me the steps. It tells me the date, it tells me uh, my heart rate. So this is the one that I was trying to download. When I click apply to this watch face, 
it applies almost immediately. So this is a new watch face. Uh, ask me for permissions. Uh, once I'm done, that's it. If uh, I download another one, for example, also try to download uh, this one. If I click on it and I click apply, it has changed the watch face immediately. So your watch faces can be as different as you can and all these watch faces are still stored for you in the app. You can change them as much as you want. You can pick something stylish. You can pick something for your look. So you can have as many watch faces because you mean you have 4 GB of RAM to store your watch faces inside and all those watch faces can be changed with your moods, with your feelings. Uh, so I'm going to stick with this one because I like how it looks. It's simple, it's simple, it's minimalistic. Uh, so that's the watch face. As you can see, it, uh, well, that's how it looks. So this is the default watch face that I put. So let's just uh, test out some of the things that it has. Uh, let's begin with the heart rate. One of the things that the watch can do for you is it can uh, check your heart rate. So that, that's uh, that. When you just click measure, it begins to measure my heart rate. And just like that, it tells me that my heart is beating at 85 beats per minute. And that's higher than average. And I can tag that and say maybe I was feeling anxious, I was feeling helpless. Uh, that's that. Not only does it measure your heart rate, but it can also measure your stress rate. You can keep track of your stress. So let's just uh, see whether I am stressed. Am I stressed? Am I really stressed? Maybe I'm stressed because of this video. But let's just see what it gets to tell me. So my stress levels are low, as you can see. If it was on this side, I'd be worried. So my stress levels are low, so I don't have stress. Uh, that is good. Uh, but so yes, it tracks your stress, it tracks your heart rate. And another thing it also tracks, it also tracks your sleep. So if uh, I was sleeping or rather when I sleep and I, it, the watch will automatically detect that I'm asleep. And in those, in, in sleeping, get to detect the different stages of sleep it tells me for how long was i in light sleep for how long was i awake during the night for how long was i in rem state for how long did i do deep sleep so it gets to tell you all the different stages of your sleep the same way when you're doing different exercises as you can see on this exercise tab it has many exercises that are preset there is running there is cycling there is swimming you know you can uh, put in your lap pull down you can put in your tread bike you can put in your treadmill you can put in your Whatever exercise you're doing, it will record it for you. And it will also tell you your heart rate as you do those exercises. And not only that, the watch will also tell you uh, the different stages of exercises, whether there are some that you did were very vigorous, were very intense, were very high. Some of them were very low. It tracks your, your walking, your steps. So it gets to tell you how many steps you've, you've uh, taken. As you can see, because it's new, it has no step put in. But if I began... Uh, uh, walking it will track all my steps so I can put in I want to make 9,000 steps in a day it will tell me how well I do in those steps it will measure because it has an inbuilt pedometer and it also has an accelerometer when I begin to take pick up my space and begin to run it will change it from walking to running and it will tell me all that so all that is powered together with the app the Galaxy Watch app now if you're using uh, an Android phone, you'd want to download the Samsung Health app so that it gives you all your stats for the day. But because I'm on iOS, I can easily look at my health features using the Health app on iOS. It gets to tell me all that. You can get to tell me all the things that it records from the watch. So that's easy. But you can also download the Samsung Health app. And uh, in the Samsung Health app, you'll pick all the information from the Galaxy Watch app, the Galaxy Watch Active. So that's that. So this is a watch that not only tells you the time, it can tell you whether you're stressed, it can tell you how fast your heart is beating, you know, it can tell you all the things that a fitness tracker can do. And this watch will help you be fit. One of the interesting things about the Galaxy Watch is it, is a, it, has, it's an, it has a water and dust resi, uh, rating. So you can go swimming with this watch and it will still be okay. Uh, so you, even your swimming exercises can be measured by this watch. So that's interesting for you to note. So you cannot be worried about when you get rained on, the watch will still be okay. You will not be worried about, you know, uh, when you're washing dishes or you're doing some uh, chores and water comes on it, you're good to go with this watch because it has a water resistance rate. And that's interesting. 
So I'm trying to uh, pair the Samsung, uh, my Samsung account with Samsung Health, so you can get to know these uh, things. So as you can see, it will uh, sync together with Health. So these are the, uh, it will measure all the steps and all the things uh, that come with the watch. So you can get this, uh, you can get this notification on your phone, uh, on your watch. That is, if someone were to call me, for example, if someone were to text me, whatever comes to the phone, the notification will be popped up on uh, on the on the watch. And uh, that's easy. So if you're in a meeting, you can be able to see all these things, uh, which is very good because you don't have to always pop out your phone all the time. Even if you're in a place that is not safe, you can just see all the things that come through on your phone. For example, this is a call. As you can see, it already tells me. Now, the only thing that I will not be able to do is I cannot be able to pick this because this is not an Android watch. But if it, uh, it's not an Android phone, but if it was an Android phone, I can be able to pick this. Uh, so if I pick it here, I have to pick my phone to respond to this. But if it was an Android phone, I can be able to talk through the microphone on the watch and it would relay all the communication that I'm speaking. And that is very interesting for you to note. So we've spoken about how the watch phases are interchangeable. And it's interesting because once you've downloaded watch phases, you don't require to go back to the app so that you can change. It's a simple, you can easily long press on the home screen of the watch face and change it to anyone that, that will be fitting for you. So like I've changed to some a different watch face, uh, so I've changed, we will, we will see that. So you can easily change the watch faces. But now, not only can you change the watch faces, but you can also change the straps. There are very uh, different straps that you can get, maybe on Jumia uh, or Amazon. You can buy different straps for your watch and you can change that app. So if you can, the, you know, the same way people like to change watches every day, you can buy different watch faces. You can get different watch faces and buy different straps and every single day you look like you have a different watch. That's interesting. Uh, so for little money, you get to different watches. You get to have the feel of different watches using the same watch so you can change your straps you can change your watch faces and that's part of the amazing things that you get with an android smartwatch and specifically the samsung galaxy watch active so let me show you how we charge up the smartwatch let me just pull out my laptop over here so let's just pull this out so this is the chi wireless charger uh, so you just plug it in uh, to any USB port. If you had a charger, you just put it to the charger. And it's as simple as I remove this uh, watch. Then, because it's magnetic, if I just uh, attach it that way, the watch begins to charge. As you can see, it has shown the charging indicator sign. Uh, so the watch is charging. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. Let me just put it back on my wrist. Uh, they're done charging. And it's interesting, if I pick it up from the charger, it tells me hi, so hi back, <laughs> though you cannot uh, speak, uh, but yes. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active, it's interesting, uh, I love the features, I love what you get with the watch, I love the syncability, I love the usability, I love the fact that it does not just tell the time, that's interesting, it's a watch that does not only tell the time. So this is a watch that I recommend for you guys to buy. It retails for about uh, 20 to 2,000 Kenya shillings. Uh, so it's almost the same price as a phone. And maybe we'll be asking why do I need that. But if you're somebody who's looking out for your health or you, you want a personal fitness tracker that's just on you, this is a watch that I consider for you to buy. Maybe hopefully we're going to do an Apple Watch review on this channel to see how the Apple Watch compares with the Samsung Galaxy Watch. But there's no other Android watch out there that can match the Samsung Galaxy watch range this time. So this is the watch if you're considering to get an Android smartwatch. And that's a wrap from us at Tekken. See you guys next week.